Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen, and in this video I'm going to be doing the school days book tag in honor of it being that back to school time of year, although I finished school long ago. But the first prompt in the tag is First Bell. What is the first book that got you into reading? And for me this is of course the Harry Potter series. My mom was not really into the fantasy genre and these were quite longer books with lots of words that were made up and she didn't know how to pronounce and so this was the book where she drew the line and told me that if I wanted to read it I would have to read it on my own because <laughs> I didn't really like reading for myself as a kid but that all changed with Harry Potter. Next prompt is break time. Name a recent DNF and I don't DNF very often, so my most recent one is actually from last year, and that is In the Unlikely Event by Judy Bloom, which was kind of disappointing because I had never tried Judy Bloom before, so it was sad that the first one was kind of a fail. Next prompt is Lunchtime, name a book that features food. And I don't really have a book that's just like all about food, I don't think, but I went with Fairy Dust and The Quest for the Egg, because this of course features some baking talent fairies and cooking talent fairies and I think fairy food would probably be very delicious. Next prompt is Final Bell. Name the book you most recently finished. And I most recently finished the Shades of Magic trilogy by V.E. Schwab, and so I will be talking about these in about a week and a half on my monthly wrap-up. Next is homework. Name a non-fiction book that you enjoyed recently. And again, I don't read non-fiction super often, so the most recent one that I've read, I think, is Stan Lee's autobiography, Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible, which I either read early this year or maybe even last year, but it was very fun. It is written like a comic, so that's super fun and perfect for Stan Lee. And I love Marvel and learning more about Stan was very interesting. Next prompt is staff room, name your go-to relaxing read. And for me, my go-to comfort read is The Last Book in the Universe by Rodman Philbrick. It's a really short read. This is the first book that I read after Harry Potter, so it's been in my life for about as long as Harry Potter, and I've just read it countless times. Next is English. Name a book that you studied in school and a book that you think should be added to the curriculum. And a book that I studied in school that I actually actively enjoyed, which was pretty rare, was The Kite Runner by Khalid Hussani. I recently got this out of a free little library along with one of his other books, so I'm excited to reread this one for the first time since high school at some point in the future and then read another book by him. And then as for the book that I think could be added to the curriculum, I'm going with The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a historical fiction novel that takes place during World War II and is narrated by death. And I just always find World War II stories to be very interesting, and this one just has a lot of good themes. Next prompt is science. Name a couple with the best chemistry. And for this one I'm going with Todd and Viola from the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. This is definitely a slow burn relationship, which I actually really appreciate. The characters get to know each other so well, and they just like love and understand each other on such a deep level by the end of the series. Not really a steamy romance, but just two characters that you just feel belong together so much. Next prompt is geography. Name a book with the best sense of place or world building. And for this one I'm going with the Three Dark Crown series by Kendar Blake. A lot of what I really loved about this series was the atmosphere of the island and just the very kind of dark feeling that the book has and it's for sure just got this dark moody atmosphere. Next prompt is history. Name the most interesting historical read you've read recently. And the historical read that I've read most recently was Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston which I was worried because this is kind of a classic and classics aren't always my thing, but I actually found this one to be really interesting. The prose was so good 
and interesting and the concepts were so interesting and the way that the main character thinks and moves about her life was all just very interesting to read about. And it takes place in the South in the 19, like, 20s and 30s, which is a time and place that I don't read about as often in my historical fiction. The next prompt is Religious Studies. Name a book that you keep coming back to. So I took this to be kind of like your non-Bible Bible, Bible <laughs> which for me would be The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, in which the main character actually talks about her favorite novel being her own, like, Bible, which I think is part of why I always think of The Fault in Our Stars that way. But I just love this one so much. I love John Green's writing style, and I certainly agree with a lot of the, like, thoughts that are put forth in this book. The next prompt is P.E. Name the biggest book on your TBR. And for me, that would be The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which size around this way is kind of a small book, but it is so many pages. So kind of deceivingly small packaging for, I think, the amount that is in here. The next prompt is drama. Name a book with the best ending. And for this one, I'm going with The Uglies series by Scott Westerfeld. I love how each of these three books end. They all kind of connect back to each other in a really cool way. And they all just have very dramatic endings. And then the third book, the final book in the series, has just a really great resolution for the series as a whole. Next prompt is art. Name a book with the best cover. And for that, I'm going with The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I have talked about on my channel before that this is my favorite cover. I think it is so pretty, the gold against the dark background, and then the font of the title is so pretty. So yes, just love this cover a lot. Even if I hadn't liked the book, I don't know if I could have gotten rid of it because the cover is so pretty. And then the final prompt is foreign language. Name the best translated book that you have, and for me that is a Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. I just love Uva, the main character, so much. He is such a secretly sweet, curmudgeonly old man. And this book was originally written in Swedish, so definitely my favorite translated book on my shelves. And I'm excited to dive more into Frederick Bachman books soon. He's coming up on my TBR, hopefully by the end of this year. So that was all of the prompts for this school days book tag. I hope anyone watching, if they're going back to school soon, have a good school year. I myself am done with that part of my life. <laughs> but now on to the quote for today's video. And this one is from Eldest by Christopher Paolini, and it's a little conversation between Aragon and his dragon, Zephyra. And it goes, We're throwing ourselves off a cliff without knowing how deep the water below is. Ah, but what a glorious flight. Thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.